What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. I'd like to start this video by thanking its sponsor, Vikings War of Clans. Vikings War of Clans resembles top PC strategy games of the 90s and 2000s. I was totally addicted to Age of Empires, BT dubs. But now it's finally on mobile, so you can easily play it during a five minute break at work or in between classes. Tremendous battles between Western and Eastern coalition leave nobody indifferent in absolute thrill and excitement. My tone just screams excitement. A new massive battle is coming this month, so be sure to check it out. Support my channel by downloading Vikings using the link in the description box below and you get an extra 200 gold for a fast start. Having bonus gold laying around lets you focus on what's really important, which is why I'm running ads in my videos. Haters gonna hate. This is a video overview of a few of the products Nerf has recently come out with with their Tactical Gear. So this Tactical Gear isn't the first of its kind. Nerf has a vest, a holster, and a few other little attachments, but they recently just banged out a whole new series of stuff with a, a particular pattern. So this is just a group overview of all of these components and sort of what they do to break it down so you can decide whether or not you'd like to purchase them. Too long didn't read. If you're a competitive nerfer, this stuff is toy grade Tactical Gear, meaning it's probably not suitable for performance-based nerfers or HVZ. I think of this stuff as mostly kind of swag or style points. It's not really function based, but it looks cool and they have little dart loops on everything. So it's very clearly designed for Nerf. So product number one, this came as an accessory pack, like a, a combo kit, but I do believe you can purchase some of these things individually. The main piece here is the H harness or kind of the tactical vest. Two straps go over your shoulders to suspend the belt. Pointing out some of the features, both straps have a little loop for uh, one magazine and three darts. So you can carry two of that. Then down on the belt, you have a little pouch. Uh, it's not really great for an ammo storage place. It's just not big enough or secure enough for darts in my opinion and you have a dart dedicated dart bag but in here you could hold a twinkie or the tactical emergency jolt or whatever else you would find helpful and on the rear of the belt there are two more elastic loops you could fit magazines or what i would personally use that for is an emergency melee toy like total assassin mode it could just be hanging out like suspended right here so you can do that i could totally just slide into the elastic instead of a magazine or a magazine if you want to be boring whatevs putting this on is pretty simple you just slide your arms through the loops and then close the buckle in the front it's kind of like putting on a bra backwards don't have experience putting on bras, just taking them off. Ayo. Oh. So that is the H harness, and then it also comes with an ammo bag. The ammo bag has one of these guys. I don't, I don't know what that's called. Yeah, like a drawstring with a little, like, lock. But when it's open, you can put in a bunch of darts here. It holds quite a few. I haven't counted, nor will I. And on the back, there's a little hook right here, so you can put it on a belt loop. And I mean the actual belt loop, not a belt itself, because mine's, my belts are too thick for this. Alternatively, you could also tuck your belt, like, through that. Pretty simple in design, but that's the dart pouch. And then lastly, the holster or the almost holster. This is just awful. Don't want to spoil my opinion, but yeah, it's bad. So it's just a giant loop of material here with uh, Velcro straps so you can adjust it to the blaster size. For example, here's a strong arm. Now it's custom fit for the strong arm. It also has a strap on the bottom, which is supposed to adjust the height so you can have your, your blaster like adjustable within the holster, like how, how far in it can go. But it's not really adjustable. It's kind of just like an on off. You can adjust it like half an inch, but it's not enough to really do much because when it's closed like that, um, you can only put in the tip. Just the tip. So you can just undo it and then it shoves all the way in, but it makes putting in the, uh, the blaster difficult, taking it out difficult. And it's just overall not a very well-designed holster. Complete the side after you adjust it to your blaster. You can uh, clip this onto your belt loop. So it'll be suspended from your waist like this. Then this strap right here goes around your leg to prevent it from um, flopping like that. Holster floppation is the worst. So then, um, you know, it's a drop like holster. That's how that works. And if you couldn't see them, three little elastic loops right here so you can put in three darts. And that is the holster overview. Since I bought it as a combo, my opinion's going to go over the combo as a whole. Overall, None of these things work very well. And that kind of is my opinion on all of the Nerf tactical gear. This stuff is toy grade gear and for the price, it's so close to like airsoft or replica or like go to a military surplus store. You can buy gear that will work for our toys for the same cost or maybe a slight bit more, but it is like way higher quality stuff. This just doesn't work well. Buying holsters for Nerf guns is admittedly very difficult because our, our blasters aren't the shape of real guns. Starting out with the H harness. Uh, first, this is not adult friendly, which I really wasn't expecting it to be, but the, the maximum height here of the shoulders leaves this belt like up and over my belly button. Like the old grandpa who thinks his waist is way up here because his pants are so high. That's pretty much like what that's fit for. That's not a design flaw. It's just that I'm bigger. So the distance from the strap going from here over would obviously fit a child because their, their torso is smaller than mine. But if you like the appearance of it, you know, buy it for that reason as kind of an accessory to accessorize. But holding magazines in elastic like this is not a very effective way to hold magazines. You need a pouch or something. And especially all up on your chest like this, this, this is such an annoying place to carry a magazine. <laughs> to the pouch, uh, it does what a pouch should do. It does pouchy things. I'd 
Yeah. Has a belt loop. I guess that's my favorite item out of all this, this combo pack because it doesn't fail at what it tries to do. Doesn't succeed all that well, but it doesn't fail. There's a difference. So yeah, the H harness, not worth the money in my opinion. My issue with the ammo pouch is the, the length of this strap. So there's way too much flop um, and it's just not as easy to, to very quickly reload. I am pretty demanding of my gear though. So I would rather have a like even a cargo pocket I would recommend over this and cargo pockets really aren't like ideal, but this is less ideal. So that's a really vague opinion. Um, and then the holster is just awful. Uh, it doesn't fit a blaster very well. It doesn't stick to your leg very well. It doesn't do any like holstery things well. So why would you buy this kit? Um, if you want to run this tack gear on your body empty just to have this pattern, um, it is a pretty cool pattern, the blue and orange nerf, and then to have the nerf logo. That's really the only reason you would want to wear this stuff. As far as tactical gear goes, it it doesn't do a very good job. I've never been a huge fan of the Nerf vest, but I would actually recommend this Nerf vest over this H harness rig, just because the H harness rig is actually like way worse than the vest. And having these little darts in the elastic, uh, I mean, it looks cool, but it's not a functional way to carry your ammo. They put those little elastic rings on everything because it costs them absolutely nothing in manufacturing. It's a little piece of elastic and they put like three lines of thread through it, and then bam, it's very nerfy because it's dedicated for Nerf darts. Marketing, woo! That's an overview in my opinion of this combo kit. Moving on. Now, if you think each of these accessories is pretty cool and that I'm just too demanding of my gear, reasonable opinion if you're going for cosmetics, cool. But there's a positive that everything has the same pattern. Like if you buy this vest and then the zombie strike holster, they don't match. So if you're going for the tactical cosmetic reasons, it's the only reason I would recommend any of this gear, then it would be a bummer that these don't match. So all of these things actually do. Guess I'll go over the blaster strap, but the strap has that same pattern built into it with the Nerf logo. It has an elastic strap for one magazine and then a few dart slots down here. Then on each side of the strap, there are these plastic little hooks, which can hook into the sling mounts on your blaster. I don't know why they chose such a fat hook. Like you don't, you don't need a fat hook like that. It's difficult to like ram in there. That does not seem proportional to the sling mount. And if it were like a third party sling or like something you took off a random duffel bag, it would make total sense. But this is supposed to be specifically built to, to fit onto Nerf blasters. I mean, as the Nerf logo and it doesn't feel like it's made for Nerf blasters. And if you're gonna improvise, you might as well just take one of those straps off of a duffel bag. Yeah, so slings are pretty easy to understand. I'm not sure how much I need to go over here. I'm not a huge fan of two point slings anyway, so I wouldn't use it. I haven't really stress tested the hooks or anything, but uh, Nerf blasters aren't that heavy. And I can't imagine like heavy use Nerf being that heavy. So it should hold up fine. I, I wouldn't recommend carrying around a magazine in your strap. That's going to make it difficult to, to quickly move around. But you can because it's there. I mean, it looks cool, but unlike the vest, which you can wear and it's kind of out of your way, this is all up in my business when I'm using my Nerf blasters. So that would just be annoying. So you can't even really use this just for the style points because it would be restricting your ability to play. So yeah, that's the strap. Oh, let, let's do a, go a positive note here. I think they call it a clinch sack. <laughs> Everybody and their mother has one of these bags. They're gym bags, you use them for absolutely everything. This one works the same way as all of the others, uh, but it has Nerf on it, and then that same pattern. And again, the elastic because it's super cheap to put on there, so you can hold extra darts. Looks like a slightly reinforced bottom down here. And some of this is mesh, as you can see like my hand through there, which is cool if you put in like sweaty clothes or something, like a gym bag. And it also has a little pouch built right into the center here with a zipper closure. So um, you can put little things in there, like coins. As far as a Nerf accessory goes, I'm, I'm not sure what you could keep in there. It's not big enough to carry like a, a primary, even broken down, like with the barrel and stock removed. Maybe if you want to keep it as like an ammo bag to carry all your extra Nerf darts in there, that would be a good idea. Or what I'll most likely do is use it for completely unrelated things, like as a pool bag or as a gym bag, not Nerf at all. But it looks cooler than my gym bag. I don't have a gym bag, that's a lie. Do, do I look like I go to the gym? Lay, nope. <laughs> I do have a pool bag, so boom. This is my new pool bag. Oh yeah. Oh, in the back, I didn't show that. It's just all black instead of the pattern. So yeah, clinch sack overview, done. Clinch sack. Oh, last item, um, ammo holder thing. So at first, it looks like a tactical purse, right? And then it deploys, Woo! Yeah, so it holds uh, magazines. It holds them in there with elastic straps, as you can see. Funny to, to carry all these magazines and only uh, like a handful of darts. Yeah, uh, pretty simple stuff. And then on the other side, there are these little pouches. While you can walk around with it, like in the tactical purse mode, I'm not sure how practical it would be, but they have this D-ring up in the top here. So you could hang it over your door or something if you want to um, hang your magazines for reasons. I would get wanting to shove blasters in there to like display your blasters over your door, but magazines, I, I don't get. But it's nice they give you the option there. I mean, it's only a little D-ring, so you can totally ignore it if you don't want to hang it. And again, same pattern, the cool little Nerf thing. Strap is not removable, but it is adjustable. It's sewn right in there. And to close it, you can just fold them up like this. 
and then there's Velcro to, to close it and lock it in. I can't be the only one who thinks of Dexter Morgan opening up his knives when, when you do this with anything. That, that's what I immediately think of. Maybe I'm alone. Maybe that's just an inappropriate comment since he's a serial killer. Moving on before that gets awkward, but that is the uh, ammo holder thing. And that's all of them. Boom. This is one of those products that I'm reviewing that I knew from the get-go before I even ordered them that I was not going to like them. They are very clearly toy grade and Nerf blasters are obviously toy grades because they're toys, but when you're not comparing them to anything else, they can be excellent at what they do. Since all of these products have competitors that are in the airsoft or firearm world that do very similar jobs that are much higher quality, it's difficult to say it does a very good job at what it's offering. That's been a consistent pattern with all of the Nerf gear though, so it's not really new. Coop, why are you reviewing it if you knew you were gonna hate them right off the bat? Because yeah. I get a little comment requesting my review on this tactical gear. I don't think each one of these products deserves its own video, and my opinion's kind of the same on all of them, along with all of the Nerf tactical gear. That's not their speciality. They make excellent blasters. I'm referring to Hasbro here, but their tactical gear, the price point is just so much different. Plenty of people are still going to buy these products, and many of them are still going to enjoy them, but that's my review and opinion on the recently released Nerf tactical gear. If you're interested in any of these products, there'll be Amazon purchase links in the description box below. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. As always, bros, stay tactical.